In alternate phylodaxy, we have one leaf from each node. It happens to be one leaf from each node. This sort of phylotaxy we call alternate phylotaxy. We see it in normal dicot plus C rose has got alternate phylotaxy. In opposite phylotaxy, we have a pair of leaves growing from the same node. Best example is guava. When a pair of leaves grow from the same node, we call it opposite phylotaxy. On the other hand, whole phylotaxy, we have got a number of leaves grow, growing from the node. Oleander is the example. This is the number of leaves growing from the same node. Oleander is the example. Moreover, flowers we see, flowers are actually modified, floral leaves are actually modified leaves. They are also arranged in a whole manner. Hence, parts of flower are known as holes of flower. They are also whole phylotaxy is seen. So phylotaxy is the arrangement of the leaves and uh, leaves on the branches and stem. There are three types of phylotaxy. It is alternate phylotaxy, opposite phylotaxy and whole phylotaxy. Hold means circular arrangement, a couple of leaves growing from the same node, we call it opposite phylotaxy, and single leaf when grows from each node, we call it alternate phylotaxy. Next we come to the types of leaves. types of leaves. There are simple leaf and compound leaf. Simple leaf has got entire lamina. When the lamina is entire or partly lobed, entire lamina you say mango and this is castor, papaya. This is called a simple leaf, but when the incision, the incision cut reaches to either mid rib. We call it pinnately compound or 
up to the petiole. We call it palmately compound. Incision reaches up to either up to the midrib or up to the petiole is called a compound leaf. So, leaves are of two types, simple leaf and compound leaf. Simple leaf has got entire lamina. There is Maybe there may be partly lobe, lobed condition seen, say for example papaya, yeah, um, castor. Otherwise, it is entire lamina as in mango people, where we get lamina is not incised at all. So, these, these, are, these are the two leaves, simple and compound leaf. We have got two types. We now come to the functions of leaf. There are three primary functions. There are three primary functions. Number one, photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means preparation. It is preparation of food in presence of sunlight we call photosynthesis. Number two is respiration. Respiration means this is oxidation of glucose to release energy. And number three is transpiration. The removal of extra water from the plant body through the stomata and under the influence of sunlight is called transpiration. Physiological process in which 
green plants prepare their food chiefly glucose from carbon dioxide taken from air and mineral water taken from soil in presence of solar energy light energy and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis so with this we conclude today we'll continue in the next period